everyone, it's Liam Carrison here, and we're reacting to another episode of Julian the Phantoms. It's episode five. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get into this. It's been a really, really fantastic show so far as we um, hit around the halfway mark. So, yeah, it's been something that I have really um, enjoyed, something I've gravitated towards. Um, and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting to see where things will go. Also, very... Um, very, I, I guess, sad, I guess, in Julie's perspective, because I have a feeling that Sunset Curve are going to, um, not deliberately, of course, let her down, especially um, after how we concluded things in the last episode, um, with them being at that club, Caleb is giving me dodgy vibes. I mean, it's only been, like, what, 10 seconds since we've already seen him, but he's already established that kind of sinister presence that you just can't shake off can you so um yeah and you know i kind of hope that i uh i'm shooting myself in the foot by throwing these suspicions towards caleb but yeah i i have a feeling that he is not good news um willie thinks he is but he's going to be led astray so yeah but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen so with that said why don't we get into episode five of julie and the phantoms let's go well, if you get scared, you, you can always hide behind me. <laughs> I'll be hiding behind Luck. You guys need to grow up, okay? We're gonna get back We'll do the, the conga. He needs to pay for what he did to us. Yeah. I'm still gonna hide behind him. <laughs> we're all good. Oh, uh, it was terrific. <laughs> Whoa, I, I thought these people were all going to be ghosts. Yeah, me too. These are all... Lifers. Oh, uh, lifers. Oh, okay. Alive people. I was listening. I thought it but was. This is a very exclusive. All ghost club. Here has, uh, paid a lot to get a sneak peek at the afterlife. I always knew. Whoa. Which people did. Onward. Where do we go when that final light is snuffed out? Allow me to show you. I know where I'm Let going. Downstairs. <laughs> We've got some time to kill. Consider me the pearly gates to your new favorite This sinister vibe isn't exactly waning. You could just have the ultimate band of the deceased. Holy damn. Best. Long live the don't like how catchy it is because I should not be encouraging you know his sinister vibes but that was dope Caleb cooked definitely there kind of bumped into me outside the Orphe oh shoot that dude that died a horrible death during one of his tricks yeah, so, okay, he was that back. guy, okay. You guys should come back when he shows one of his movies. I mean, for Titanic, he literally floods the entire place. I mean, the guy has got skin. Literally <laughs> floods, okay. You boys have some magic of your own. Could I him intrigued? <clears throat> Oop. Well, Willie and I, I mean, I wouldn't really call it magic, but, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, no, he means your ghost abilities. So oh. you know, like, to be seen by everybody when you play oh. Julie. They're reading no, the room. Totally. Surely. Right. No, because when you said it, I was like, is that what it I'm just really, really worried for Julie and the Julie. Phantoms? I had some free time in French class. It's a nice rig, right? Because I registered it on Insta, Snapchat, Twitter. No. <laughs> I love it. But I'd love it even more if the actual Phantoms were here. Otherwise, it will be Julie. Nick! <laughs> You know, I was expecting something a little more sophisticated. It's what's on the inside that counts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of people have to tell themselves. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Spoken like a true egotist. <laughs> uh, come on. Keep it they made eight more Star Wars movies and they killed Han Solo? Oh, imagine watching this and you haven't watched you The Force Awakens. Oh, no. no. <laughs> just wait until you hear about okay, how bad the rise of Skywalker is. Oh, just please don't mention Jar Jar. Oh, that was one crazy show. You got a crush on Willy. 
But no, no, man, no, we're just you guys. I'm happy for you. You guys are not gonna believe this, but someone just told me they added a character named Jar Jar. What's a Jar Jar? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's insane. Oh, yeah, they died like well, four years before the Phantom Menace. Now, I understand there's something I can. Oh, they missed out on Revenge of the so. Sith. You cease to exist. No bows, no, no soaking up the applause. Shoot. No the Here we go. Yeah, here, the audience knows what you Prying are. them away from Julie. They know how special you are. Here you can. Oh, yeah. oh my god. I want the one without cheese. <laughs> Boot. Oh. oh no. I can't blame him either because I would definitely be face planting myself in the food. Oh my god. Just go for it, bud. Last time you played was insane. We got this. She's gonna have to carry this and solo. You you. Wait, what? Um, we she didn't agree. Movie. Who wants to see a show? Come on. Um. Now. Ooh. Anybody know the Heimlich? Julie's choking. Really? Piss off. Only one way to save this dance. Uh. Who wants to see dirty candy? Oops. Pops broken. <laughs> okay. The new guy found someone. Oh. Little man has game. After what? Two hours of scooching? Was it? I don't know. Reggie, are you kissing that meatball sup? It's what you do with the things you love. <laughs> I take what you gonna do. I'll say it was to make a move, was to make a move, yeah. What you gonna do, what you gonna do? Watch me make a move, best you ever knew. Woo! Dance with, yeah, do it. Do it, Alex. Do it. Oh, I love the uh, video tron. Giving me Cuphead vibes. Yeah, I no. We we want the ship to sail. Oh. Do you ever want to come back and fix that little problem with your friend? Oh no. The Hollywood Ghost Club is always open. Yeah, man, we'd love to come back. <sighs> Music to my ears. Haha. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Oh, it's just a little club stamp. Cool. No, it's not just a club stamp. A Use your stamp. You know what that'll do to them. Of course I do, William. But they're too powerful. I need them working for me. Now they'll have no option but to accept my invitation. <sighs> this is gonna be fine. I'm guessing, um, I, I have an idea what it could be. We'll, we'll do whatever it takes. We'll play the next what? school. Another dance where you can bail on me and make me look like uh... a fool? Save it. You know what really sucks? Our songs were good. And all three of you knew what I've been through and how tough it's been for me to play. And then you do this. You can understand why she's hurt. Bands don't do that to each other. Julie's not in the band, then there is no band. Out of feeling! What was that? It felt like we were dying all over again. How can we die if we're already dead? Super death! Nah, this is. Uh, I, I mean. I feel like. With what Caleb did. It's getting to a point where um it will it'll get to a point where julie won't be able to see them whatsoever and uh, that'll create that detachment really he wants them at his club he wants him he wants them pried away from julie 
yeah. I mean, I've got to say, I really, really, I mean, I am enjoying, um, I am really, really enjoying this show so, so much. Um, and, you know, Caleb isn't exactly helping with his charismatic uh, attitude and um, how he's um, pulling people in a very, very... Um, I don't know, magnetizing manner, really, because of the fact that um, he has such this charm and, um, you know, tempting offer. Oh, and, and not just that, though, but with what the with what the boys um, have um, desired, this is like the, you know, dream come true, really. So he's dangling that carrot on a, on a stick. And... Yeah. Had a feeling Caleb was up to no good. And then he just stamps their arm with something nefarious. Eesh. Yeah, I mean, I can't really blame Julie for just being so devastated. I mean, she was literally put on the spot in front of her classmates, including Carrie, who um, is very, very judgmental and... She will take this opportunity to throw Julie under the bus. Um, and so she did. And that's really wounded her, really. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, have, I, I guess it was kind of obvious, wasn't it, in the direction it was going to go in regards to the band, if they were going to show up uh, to perform with Julie. Um, but... Now we're seeing a bit further in terms of Caleb. Um, so, yeah, who turns out he was the man that um, the, uh, that uh, Alex bumped into um, in episode one. So that, yeah, I mean, I kind of had a feeling it was going to go towards there. But I, like I said, we didn't really have too much of a good look-see. Um, so, yeah, um, so I could only make the assumption. So, yeah, but... Um, it was it was just a really really great episode. There was just a lot of fun, um, like even even the song that Caleb um, sang, which um, of course um, you know I'm I'm going to make more of a mention on in a bit. That was really really I would say intoxicating, and um, it does have that kind of um, sinister vibe to it, and yet it's catchy. So and I mean you even had the band being so immersed just with everything like uh, the idea of of um of this club and um not just that though but their dreams coming to fruition really uh, they can really use this as a as a platform because as i said um a, a few times in my um fourth section this like they have technically been given a second chance to fulfill what they have um, wanted so much and um, they never even reached their prime and now you've got Caleb say, saying oh well we can basically perform all over the world and whatnot and not just that though but um, this is an opportunity for um, them to kind of pick up where they last left off really so yeah um, but yeah and Caleb might get what he wants since like I I mean, he's obviously put some kind of um, curse on um, on 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 the boys, um, and we're yet to see the full ramifications of 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 um, what he did to them. Um, they did men uh, I mean, they there was the mention of uh, it feels like dying all over again, um, but I feel like it's a whole kind of so sell your soul kind of uh, idea because of a uh, what i've just mentioned about it feels like dying all over again uh, and b i i'm just reflecting back to that song and um like i said how intoxicating it was how um alluring and um just really really great it was but at the same time there is that kind of sinister ambience um and now we have full confirmation that Caleb is not uh, is up to no good. Um, not just that though, but I'm also thinking back to the idea of um, how this is like they are handed everything on a silver platter here. They are handed uh, an opportunity they could take advantage of. They 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 have the world on their fingertips. Um, 
the boys. So, um, but it comes at a cost, and the cost is is well, you c- it's 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 either Julie or, or or this this opportunity with with this club. So yeah, um, and I am assuming. Uh, Caleb has done the same thing to the lifers in order for them to get a glimpse in uh, of the afterlife. Um, so yeah, I mean that that would make sense in regards to um, you know how these lifers are being able to 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 see these ghosts and uh, are like, oh my god, this is absolutely mesmerizing. Um, there's that kind of um, um, depth to 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 Caleb really so yeah I have a feeling uh, yeah and I don't know what is going to happen in regards to the next episode but I kind of feel like it's going to have a reverse effect on for some reason my mind is just thinking it's going to have some kind of reverse effect on Julie where she can't see the ghosts anymore and that's going to lead the ghosts to the club and all of that and um, um, this is going to be Caleb's attempt to try and pry um uh, pry um, the guys away. So, yeah. But, like I said, in regards to Caleb's character, he, yeah, obviously there is that kind of sinister uh, ambience uh, about him. But at the same time as well, I couldn't exactly blame, uh, blame the guys for, like, um, just being so, like... It is it is a very it is a very very painful endeavor because of the fact that they are given this opportunity to to be um who they aspire to be really, um. And you know, Kato puts on a show and all of that, and not just that though, but the food as well. I mean, look, the food looked really great as well. So, um, it was like ah, um, but this is it though. He is um. Um, like, yeah, not just that though, but they're still young at the end of the day. So this is, this is an opportunity for them to, um, basically be immersed with all of this and think, you know what? This is not too shabby. Um, sadly it comes at the expense of, um, of, of, um, what they made in terms of that deal with Julie because, um, Julie uh, wanted them to perform. They gave the green light. And then look what happened. So, yeah, and yeah, this is a this is a chance for them to, uh, as I've said, this uh, they've been given the second chance to capitalize on hitting those strides they never got to achieve because they were only seventeen when they died. Um, so this is a chance for them to be like, you know what. Yeah, let's go. Um, even though they could have done that with Julie, but this is um, like with Caleb. It's like okay, well, think bigger. Basically, think you know, one minute you could be tra- you you could be here, the next you could be somewhere else in the world, etc., etc. Um, so um, they've they've like I said with Caleb, he's dangling a carrot above their heads, and they're gonna have to take it. So um, yeah, but. It's understandable why um, Julie was uh, pissed off. Um, so, because at the end of the day, there is that kind of neglect, isn't there? Especially with the whole revenge trip that was taking place. That was the bigger priority than, um, uh, f- uh, in in terms of Julie's perspective, that uh, that's the bigger priority, isn't it? Um, compared to her uh, performance. Um, and not just that, though, but there is that humiliation that she suffered. So... Um, like I said, I I mean, it it it's understandable why she's hurting, but yeah, oof. and you know I I'm really really worried in terms of how Caleb's going to intervene in terms of the whole Alex Willie relationship as well. Um, so yeah, um, but you know, thankfully, uh, I mean, there was that like really really nice moment as well when. Well, a Alex was 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 kind of flustered, um, and when Kayla was inquiring about him and all of that, um, and Alex took that to the assumption that um, he was talking about him and uh, Willie, but also Luke, um, you know, addressed. Well, he 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 read the room, so, um, and um, he said he was happy for them, and 
you know, I, I really liked that as well, especially with how Alex has been um, under so much pressure with that anxiety as well, uh, that anxiousness. And um, to have the support of someone who is a best friend to you. Yeah, so awesome. Um, I have to say, though, I really, really loved the Star Wars mention as well. well I just couldn't help but think in my mind... Um, Someone hasn't watched The Force Awakens. I know it. Um, someone's, you know, going through Julie and the Phantoms. And you had that mention. They made like eight Star Wars movies, which I think tracks because you've got to consider Solo and Rogue One as well. They're still Star Wars movies. Um, oh, just wait until they find out about The Mandalorian and all of that. <laughs> Book of Boba Fett. Andor. Uh, anyways, um, no, I, w I was just I was just loving the kind of uh, meta commentary about, like, uh, I, I don't know. There was that inner geek in me uh, that was loving that moment. Um, but it was just so funny how they blurted out about Han Solo. And I'm just like, someone's watching this who hasn't watched The Force Awakens or needs to catch up and is like, what the fuck? So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, as well as, you know, the comments about Jar Jar and all of that, even though um, they didn't, I, I, I don't think they brought up the Clone Wars or Rebels as well in terms of like, oh, they made eight movies, they made like two shows. I mean, there's more, obviously, um, um, as of recording with The Mandalorian and or Book of Boba Fett. Uh, there's a lot more coming out. Obi-Wan. So, yeah. They, the, the poor guys missed out on Revenge of the Sith. They would have loved that with uh, everything that was happening. Another happy landing. Uh, I have the high ground. Hello there. So, oh man. Yeah, don't mind me about geeking out about that. I just I just really, really love the, the pain about um, how Star Wars has changed. Because oh, it, it was only A New Hope, um, Empire, and uh, Return of the Jedi that uh, came out. And... Four years later, after they died, the Phantom Menace would have would have dropped. So, yeah, crazy. To think about that. But yes. Um, oh, what did they think about the holiday special? <laughs> you know what? I don't think that needs an answer. We all know what we think about the holiday special, right? Um, but yeah, I'm I'm sidetracking. Um, yeah, it was a really really great episode. Um, I do feel I did feel so bad for um um for Julie um especially when when Carrie just absolutely humiliated her um so yeah it was it was just really really sad for Julie's perspective and you had Flynn being there for her which is really really nice um but also it was just very very great to learn a bit more about Kayla because um we had our suspicions at the end of the last episode and our suspicions yeah trust your gut folks so yeah um but yeah it will be great to see what's going to happen in the next episode but i'm really loving this so yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles